how they warn you on the, the thing, this is emergency broadcast, and the thing goes brah, 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 on our TVs if there's something in an emergency broadcast alert. Welcome back to Project Nihilist, my fellow atheist. In this video, we're going to watch Brandon again. If you want to see my other video, I'll pin a link in the comments. Brandon here gets DMs from G.O.D. about things that haven't happened yet and are unlikely to ever happen because he doesn't understand anything about physics. And for some reason, his 15-year-old son, cameraman, and editor doesn't correct him about anything stupid that he says. I'll let Brandon explain it all to you because he understands all the intricacies. And These men that were on this boat were oriental looking. They were, um, they were from Asia, from somewhere. I have no idea. So you have to keep in mind that this jackalope isn't telling you his story. He's telling you the story he got during prayer from his magic friend, Juju. I just wanted to come on here and tell you some more things the Lord has showed me in prayer time. I have to tell you this first. I don't want to stir up fear. I don't want to get anybody afraid. But I, I want to be, I have to tell you what the Holy Spirit is telling me. And um, things that we can avoid and things some things i i don't think we can so i you know i i just but i but i feel i'm a watchman like i've said and um and it's my job to tell you what's going on and so uh this was a a, a massive barge traveling down the mississippi river it was like a big boat this but it was supposedly carrying grains or something out of up north somewhere. And there was a black, like a black at the top of it, all around it. And on there was where the captain, where the, the person who drives the boat, it was white and it had rust on it. It looked like it was weathered. There was like a little, like a little opening, a square opening on this boat that was on, on the, um, on the, on the deck part. They were moving and they were going out and they went out into the Gulf of Mexico and they turned their boat going and facing um, east. So just to make sure we're all on the same page, river barges do not sail out onto the open ocean. They opened the hatch and they put out a rocket. They put out a rocket in that hatch and they lifted it up. And there was, th these men that were on this boat were oriental looking. It was in a Chinese like dialect. It was different, but it was deep intercession. Intercession. They were, um, they were from Asia, from somewhere. I have no idea. Okie dokie, Dr. Joe's home with your potatoes. Uh, if it was China or whatever. Whatever. But, um, they raised this rocket up and it was about five feet tall. And it was about probably, it was probably about, uh, maybe about a foot thick, two foot, maybe at the most. Using a confetti flag is a missile. Brandon's little short range missile would never have the range that he's describing. And, um, it was black and it was white and it had USSR written on the, on the rocket. So yeah, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republican Party was dissolved way back in 1992. And it's just so totally weird how one of their nuclear missiles that isn't powerful enough to escape the blast zone ended up on a damn barge in the middle of the Mississippi and somehow out in the middle of the Atlantic being launched by Chinamen. And they shot the rocket out over America. And when they did, it exploded, but it, but I kept hearing in the spirit realm, it's not going to get high enough. It wasn't getting high enough. And, and that's what I was hearing. And so, well, it never fails. Once again, you two hayseeds are showing how much you want for intellect. Let's not forget that just days earlier, this barge full of Chinamen were in the perfect location to launch a nuclear attack against America, right? Let's not forget that this barge was literally in about the same area that its nuke exploded. It's really tiny nuke that could never make that distance. And let's not even get into the fucking fact that he doesn't understand what an electromagnetic pulse is. Um, it went out over uh, ten Tennessee, Kentucky area, uh, Atlanta, and, um, you know, Mississippi, Alabama, all that. Dakota, South Dakota, Illinois, and Indiana 
and then it went out and it went over and it went up o o by Ohio. Oklahoma, Minnesota, Arkansas, and Georgia in June. And it exploded right over all that area. And whenever it did, it was an EMP. And the EMP turned out all the darkness. Turned out all the darkness. Look to your sins, the night is dark and full of terrors. And because it didn't get high enough, it didn't, it didn't have a uh, blast radius that affected everything for way, 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 way over and way, way over uh, to, the, to the west. But it affected all of Virginia and um, Pennsylvania and all that. It was, it was terrible. So if you've ever heard of the Cuban Missile Crisis, this is a medium or intermediate range ballistic missile. This isn't even the size of an ICBM. And I just doubt it's going to make it from Canada down the Mississippi into the Gulf of Mexico on a barge. Complete darkness was over this. And the further you went west, it wasn't as dark. Things weren't uh, affected as bad. I could see that people did not have uh, in, like, say, um, Colorado or whatever. Whatever. They did not have cell phones. They did not have internet. They did not have um, uh, like a cable TV or anything like that. They had TV with bunny ears. So Brandon says he's the same age that I am, even though I look so much younger. He doesn't have the most elementary grasp on how rabbit ears work. Because these signals went digital and most people don't have a converter box, converters aren't included with most televisions because it cuts down on the initial cost. But go ahead, Brandon. Keep telling us about this classified knowledge you've been given access to about the future. And they had landline telephones, and they still had uh, light electricity. You wasn't you wasn't able to have a whole bunch of stuff going. The power grid was real weak. Is anyone shocked that Brandon doesn't have a clue about the how the electrical grid in the United States works? It's divided in three sections: East, Central, and West, plus Texas. Also, EMPs from a detonation are not persistent. But you were still able to power things, uh, just not like, I don't, I don't understand it all. I, I, I just see things. And that's the problem, Brandon. The things you claim to see don't make any sense down here in good old reality. I just see things, and you know, whenever I'm praying. And so um, I could see the emergency broadcast come on. I could hear it, and they were warning the people of what happened. So for a while, I knew that today I would get this uh, nationwide test of the emergency broadcast system. And for some reason, people out there see this as a conspiracy that the ability to quickly share relevant information to a populace is a bad thing. You know, like one of them pesky amber alerts I get from time to time. How they warn you on the, the thing, this is emergency broadcast, and the thing goes brah, 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 on our TVs if there's something in an emergency broadcast alert. President could address you immediately. Look, I have to stop all other communications to communicate to you and tell you the absolute God's honest truth of what's happening. They, they ran that because it turned the TV on and um, you could hear the emergency broadcast going off. It's happening. When? Now. And, um, and so I had some friends call the landline at my house. So in Brandon's mixed up delusional fantasy, he contacted his friends somehow to call him back on his landline. And they said, do you have power? What are we talking about here? Pussy, right? <laughs> and I said, yes. And I opened, and then I went to my refrigerator and I opened up the refrigerator and there was still a light on in the refrigerator. So I'm assuming this is still part of his conscious delusion where his good friend DM'd him the fucking future and he goes to his refrigerator to see if his electric's still on? Then I could see looking out over going south, I could see in the spirit realm. So crew, I cut this out of my last video, but this guy uses his 15 year old son as a tripod rather than just buying a tripod to film his tirades. Uh, the trees, the Lord allowed me to see the trees. The trees were the sycamore trees. And the little trees of alcohol come trickling down the rocks. Had um, leaves on them. For the night is dark and full of terrors. It was still really warm outside. Here's my raincoat. 
because I, whenever I'm seeing in the spirit and the Lord's showing me something, I always try to pay attention to what's going on around me, my surroundings, trees, the the weather, the 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 warmth of outside, how it feels. You know how I would have I assumed that it feel where the sun is at. Everything. Of course, you have. You're a smart man. I guarantee you Brandon's situational awareness isn't up to snuff, and he couldn't find north or south with a clock or the time of day with a compass. For some reason, this guy wants everyone, especially his cameraman, to think he's the smartiestest. Okay. I get right there, Kalei. I ran out. Hey. When I was a kid, Dad would have me hold the flashlight if he was doing mechanic work or electrical work or plumbing or carpentry. I learned valuable skills having to stand there and keep that flashlight focused on what he was looking at. Brandon has been having his son hold the flashlight from the time he looked like this till he looked like this, and that poor kid has not learned a damn thing of relevance. And I know how many hours it takes for me to edit all this stuff together. Brandon also uses a lot of those right-wing buzzwords like Russia and China. I want to thank you all who made it this far. Do all that free shit that doesn't cost you a thing. And let me know what you think about Brandon in the comments. I know what I think about him already. You probably know too. Fuck you, Brandon. You suck. <laughs>